What's happening guys, Bobfrog92 here from the Flaccid Gaming, bringing you a complete walkthrough of Mob of the Dead. At the beginning of the video, if you look through the hole here, you can see the Warden's key hanging. I ain't patient enough to look for anything. Here we have a small part where you can get 20 points per grenade if you throw it into this fire pit. When we get to the Golden Gate Bridge, we start the process to upgrade into the Tomahawk. What you have to do for this is get around 30 kills without shooting a single bullet. What I don't know is why. Yeah, I get it, Rachel. You can be damn sure you get it. Damn right you better stick together. I'm begging you all to hell! Once you've come back from the Golden Gate Bridge, head down to the laundry room. Once you're in there, you have to finish the round, and once the new round started, all you simply do is go to where the Tomahawk is and pick it up in Afterlife. Here we are now collecting five blue skulls to get the free Blundergat. The first skull is located on the docks. You aim from the third pillar throw your tomahawk you should see the blue skull then still on the docks if we go up the stairs look at this lamp here and throw the tomahawk you should receive the second blue skull if you then proceed to the roof of the prison aim at this corner and then throw your tomahawk you should see the third blue skull if you head to this cell and throw the tomahawk in the toilet you'll get the fourth blue skull if we head into the warden's office, throw our tomahawk at the top of this lamppost, get the last skull we need, look at the table, and take the free blundergat. <laughs> and here we see upgrading the blundergat to the acid gap. So here you see me upgrading the acid gap to the victrolic withering. I don't regret a damn thing. If I had my time over, I'd do it all again. Every fucking part of it. So universe, you want to know what I think? I think you can go fuck yourself. Now it's time to get the golden spork. First we start off by throwing the tomahawk at this poster, then entering this door through afterlife and zapping the spork. Here we go around the corner in afterlife and shock the spoon on the floor until we hear a very distinctive laugh. Church bell. And then we need to proceed to the cafeteria where we can then get this last spork which is located at the back on the table just through this window. And then we need to head up to this bathtub, press and hold the reload button and wait for the spoon to stir the blood. Then we need to head down into the laundry room, take out our Victolic withering and kill a load of zombies until we hear a voice. Then we return to the bath of blood, hold the reload button and our hand will rise holding the golden spork. Press and hold the reload button again to receive the spork. Okay. 
as you can see here, we're going for the trophy full lockdown. All I'm doing is running Brutus around the map, trying to get into lockdown all the perks, all the tables, and the plane. No Things saying, I think it's Ferguson. As I said earlier, you can see him here locking down the plane. As a personal preference, I like to start off this trophy outside on the docks, then heading up towards the warden's office and then finishing it off at the plane. As you can see, he's missed the perk here for me, so you might just want to double back and check over all your perks and everything else before you kill him. You hear some of the shit that thing's saying? I think it's Ferguson! I find it easier, once you've got all the equipment, to go to the Golden Gate Bridge and survive past round 15 for the trophy, Golden Gate Bridge. And once you've got the trophy, sit in the chairs and complete the cycle for the third time. And that should give you the trophy, making the rounds. Did something happen? Right guys, thank you for watching, it's been a pleasure doing the video, just showing that I got to round 32, nothing fancy, but that's everything that you can do on single player with. Oh, and one last thing, 